Hey everybody. Hi everybody. I'm going to give it um, a couple of seconds to let a person or two come in. Um, and first we're going to check out the fact that uh, I still have my Christmas decorations up. Y'all, I mean, let's get real. Let's get real. I still have my Christmas decorations up. Look, my tree. Look, I mean, it's just, I can't. I can't take it down. My window looks awesome. Look, my mirror is like also done. You can see me looking at myself here. I mean, this is, come on, I can't. Look, my mantle, right? So anyway, um, hey everybody. I can't see who's who's here. It doesn't show me. What's up, my cousin, my homie? Hey, watch that. You're coming with me to New Zealand, right? Did you book your tickets yet? <laughs> That's like my hint. I love you. Of course I love you. I'm part of your bloodline. I have, I'm forced to love you, honey. Um, so, so first of all, look, you know, that point when you say like, um, like there's something so crazy that you're like, I can't even, and y'all are blowing up my messenger so hard today and yesterday that I'm like, I'm at that point where I say, I can't, I can't even add the even part. I just can't. Andre takes down the tree when I'm not home because it upsets me. Yeah, seriously. I, I, you know, I have to put down the tree and I have to put up the tree. So taking down is like last year, I think I took it down in February. So, so, um, basically, um, y'all are just blowing up my messenger about these binaural beats. So let me just throw out a quick, um, short version of what it is, what's happening. Basically you're using certain music to brainwash yourself with audio that you create with goals of your own. Now, if you want the more extended version of that, uh, what are binaural beats? So binaural beats are two tones and two different um, frequencies at under 1500 or under hertz. And they're only 40 hertz apart. And what it does is you, when you listen to them, one tune goes in this year, one tune goes in this year, ear. Together, simultaneously listening, listening to them creates the auditory illusion of a third tone. And when that happens, it greatly helps to knock out or get rid of your gatekeeper in your brain, which usually, um, basically what that is, is like a, it's like a check system so that not everything you see, say and hear out in the regular world is imprinted into your brain. So um, you're using this music to basically help make your brain more amenable to brainwashing. And what you're talking about um, in your audio and in your recording, in your words, is stuff that you want for your life, right? But it's not like, a lot of people think it's like, oh, it's like talking about things as if they were. No, no, it's not that. Because, so your brain is like a computer. So imagine like you sit down to your computer and you say, I'm trying to adjust this so y'all can see me. Um, imagine if you sit down to your computer and you're looking for files, okay? So you search for the file that says, I have a hundred million dollars, or the file that says, I finally have exactly that rocking hot body I've always wanted, or that smoking crazy passionate relationship I've always wanted. And the truth is that you can even put folders in your computer with those names but if there's no true files within those folders or if there's no files, period, in your computer, you can search for it, but it'll yield file not found. Truth, right? So what happens is if you say things to your mind like, oh yeah, um, today I am perfectly in the perfect shape. Um, I have a million dollars now. I make a million dollars every day, blah, blah, blah. Your brain's just gonna say, um, file not found, you're lying, so no. Um, and yes, it can be used to brainwash Dre, um, except I'd rather brainwash him myself because, you know, I'm just better at it. So let's let's plan on that on the wayside. Um, so there, the terminology that you use is your future self that's commanding your present self using your existing talents and traits. So you can't be talking about, oh, I'm the master of whatever if you're not, but you do use your existing skills as if they're enhanced um, and using those existing skills to enhance. So um, that's what that is. And um, there's a little bit more specificity to mine. I've used certain techniques and tricks that I've been taught by world masters like Tony Robbins and Michael Burnoff to write my words, things that they do themselves. 
and um, you just listen to them in the morning before you fall asleep and then at night um, sorry in the morning after you wake up and at night before you fall asleep and uh, that's it that's all you'll just notice great things starting to happen things starting to change like today you know I've, I've had about five crazy things happen to me today I was talking to someone about shipping and some issues and this and that and then a friend of mine a longtime college friend of mine called me out of nowhere it just starts talking to me about shipping. I'm like, I, what even, like, what even happened? Like, I didn't, I didn't say anything to him. It had nothing to do with him. Of course, you guys might have read my post. I collapsed time today by 10 minutes, and then I expanded it also by 10, no, actually about 20 minutes later this um, in the morning. Um, and just all kinds of craziness is happening. Um, so it's easy, it's simple. And if you guys want more specificity on how or the tricks that I use or the techniques of verbiage, I invite you to send me uh, a, a direct message on Facebook Messenger and uh, we can talk more about it there. So that's all it is. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, Wedgie. Bye.